What's up, everybody? Welcome to Southwest Florida. This is Jose. Hey, Katie. We're going to drive to the NOFO, North Fort Myers, and just give you guys a, a driving tour right through there. Um, we, we're going to go into, we got to get something to eat. I don't even know where the crap we're going, to be honest. I just want to eat something. I'm really hungry. Um, I haven't seen pretty much, the only thing I've seen open all day was a tackle truck. Um, and we don't have any groceries at home, so it's kind of been a little complicated. Sorry if we kind of sound like we're kind of <laughs> just kind of down. It's been a, a difficult few days. We've been working non-stop to get you guys content, so we're just kind of really tired. Um, let's run in North Fort Myers. I think it needs to be covered. We're in downtown Fort Myers now. I feel like the news... I mean, I've already said it several times, so you guys get the idea. But I feel like the areas that are really, really affected are residential areas that are not really that important to the news. Like, I think the news is almost catering not even to the local audience, because there is no local audience, because there's no power or TV. So they're almost not even catering to a local audience, they're catering to an international audience, you know, like so, or in other places and stuff. So they're showing the touristy, famous places. But the situation in Fort Myers, we got power back. And even though we got power back, our internet's still not back at home. And there's not a lot of restaurants open. Or, now, there are parts of South Florida, like we were out by East Naples, and they had everything. We had a public. Why does it feel like the heat time? I guess, am I really that stressed for I feel like the heat time? You know, it's not. Apparently. But, anyways, like down in Naples, for example, um. Way at the East End, there's a, there's a Publix down there, and they're open. They had everything running, but it just it's felt much better to be in um, Miami and Fort Lauderdale than it feels to be here. So when we're in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, then we feel comfortable in you know all of our regular. Do you want to try it by any chance to see if that Colombian restaurant's open? The one over there in the, in the North Park. They could be. I've been wanting to eat some like real authentic Latin food. Uh, the types of places that are open are offering like burgers and fried food is all that you can get. Uh, I'm just I'm trying to stay away from that type of food. It's been exhausting, guys. It's been kind of a lot. There's a random boat right there. I haven't even seen that. Look at that boat right in my head. The destruction, I think, on the north side is worse than in Fort Myers, but it's just they don't really, the news doesn't really give a crap about what happens over there. Mostly, like, they're just trying to cover, like, you know what I mean? Like, downtown Fort Myers and downtown Naples and stuff like that and people ask me why haven't you shown the real destruction you can't get in those places there's roadblocks I just realized there's a random boat here I haven't seen it when I first came to it earlier sea lord so what are we talking about it's the billboard from Cracker Barrel no way yeah well you mean like everything like every restaurant that we go to on Little Fort Myers is gone I would much rather be in Fort Lauderdale, Miami right now than here, let me just tell you. Well, let's hop on over there and see what's going on in North Fort Myers. People have been requesting, a lot of our subscribers have been requesting a lot of stuff like, um, like some coast estates and all that, and I, uh, I want to just show you guys kind of like how bad it is on the side. I guess the drive around video is nice because it gives you like a real, like a full view where versus like an edited video you're, you're seeing what I decided to show you. But I think the drive around videos have done pretty good as well because it gives you kind of like a full view of full, full scope of everything. Welcome to North Fort Myers, the NOFO. And if there's traffic 
Yeah, there was traffic here earlier. It was really creepy to see life vests falling around because it's like, was it part of a boat that flipped or like, is there a story behind it? It seems like uh, all the what ifs of life. Oh, this is pretty crap area right here. But if you s oh, I gotta keep my hands on the steering wheel. If you see like how much destruction there is just driving through North Fort Myers, like when you're driving through, you're like, what the crap happened in North Fort Myers, bro? Storm surge came in destructively, you know? And uh, this is everybody turning into Cape Coral here. Storm surge came in destructively, there's no doubt about that. This is a lot of people going back into Cape Coral on the left. So if we're bypassing that. Like a little Greek restaurant that I like, but the giant menu is gone. tell you, it's been very difficult to live my superstar lifestyle here in the last few days. This is, uh, my lifestyle is not up to par with my expectations lately. Yeah. Even I'm like, what is this wrong with coming out of your mouth? Uh, what's wrong with being fabulous? No, I can't be fabulous because there's a hurricane. I'm going to be fabulous even if there's a hurricane. You can be fabulous. You can't talk about it. I mean, there's yeah. like a moral. There's like a moral. I don't know what the right word would be. Condentation to like. Is that even a word? Condentation. You get what you get at this point. Well, no. Like, is there is there a moral is there a moral thing where like you can't be eating like steaks and shrimp while other people are homeless and stuff? Like, how's that work? Well, I mean, that like, goes on most, every day. Like, most rich people I know are probably in another state right now. Yeah. And they're not even going to post anything on Facebook. They're just going to be like, we're okay. <laughs> That's it. We they're, survived. They're, we survived. Like, I mean, I'm sure they're like in North Carolina mountains, like jet skiing or something on a mountain, but they're not going to post it on Facebook this week. They're just going to be like, you know what? We're just going to keep this to ourselves. How the crap did that motel survive? It's like, if, it's like the things that... RJ's, RJ's. Isn't there like a really good barbecue place around here like that I love? Yeah. Even the storm surge didn't make it this far. That yeah. barbecue place is the crap, bro. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like the little. Get it's right there. It might be further ahead, but yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. But they're not. They're not gonna be. They're not open. Uh, I think nothing's gonna be open. No. No. North Fort Myers got here bad. Let me tell you, let's go into Sun Coast Estates. <laughs> Normally I make jokes about North Fort Myers and how the bed bugs are homeless and stuff, but at the right yeah. time, I'm saying like, like, like I, think I, it just I really got gotta curve. The, I really gotta curve my comments for a while. Yeah. And for like the next month or two, I'm just gonna have to not make those types of comments. Yeah. Because under normal circumstances, we're gonna be making bad bug jokes driving through here, but mm -hmm. it's different scenario. And I do yeah. care about North Fort Myers. I know I make a lot yeah. of bed bug jokes and stuff, but I do care about it. Yeah. I do. A lot of businesses I care about all through here. <laughs> this gas station is a madhouse without a hurricane. Oh, it looks like no, it's still close. Look at the traffic, all people coming in from Cape Coral. So right now, entering Southwest Florida is going to be complicated. complicated. Yeah, we got to drive against traffic. That's where we've been getting caught up lately. So we're getting caught up, like right about 4:35, we get caught in all the commuters, and then you can't accomplish anything. Yeah. Like we really got to strive in our videos, maybe to work earlier in the day, and not get caught up with the commuters. Yeah. Because if we get caught up with the commuters, then you're, then you're... Like, we've already got off a bunch of videos today, so... Um, the street's called Heart that I gotta turn into. It's, I think there's a gas station in front of it. The street that goes in the uh, Sun Coast Estates. Is it on this side? Huh? Or that's, it's on this side? This side over here. Let's click. Shirley. Heart. Is that right there? Yeah. My throat feels itchy, too. Hmm. This 
this guy's angry. He's like running on the grass. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure like most rich people. Is this a turn right here? Yeah, this dark road. We'll get over here. They're like, oh my gosh, they're just piles of aluminum. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of scrap metal. If they're if it's a private community, they, like if they own it, like they might just be like, you know what, nobody can touch the scrap metal is ours. Yeah. Up security overnight, make sure nobody steals it. Yeah. It's worth quite a bit. Well, that's open. The I think this is what's open. causing me the trouble with the camera on. I think it's pulling too, pretty much pressure on it. Yeah, I think it is. And put it around the bottom. Oh, that doesn't help either. Sorry, guys. The cameras have been... Our camera mounts are not in the best shape right now. We got to order new ones. So, yeah, we'll have to... I mean, we, we always like, you know, oh, the slump coast estates or, you know, oh, there's a crackhead, but... Those types of jokes are going to have to be put on the shelf for a while. Yeah. It's not appropriate right now. Like I said, I'm sure most rich people like are probably like jet skiing in North Carolina right now, up a mountain. But they're not going to post it on Facebook like, yeah, we're having fun. We're having a blast in North Carolina. They're going to be like, yeah, we're, we made it. That's like, there's a certain protocol to having money when everybody else is going through some crap. And a lot of people were mad. Actually, in my Naples video, I had a lot of angry people. They're like, because I, I mentioned, I'm like, you know, like the people who own these houses, they're probably like jet skiing up a mountain or something. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they're probably snow snowmobiling in in the Sahara Desert right now. You know, hunting for tigers or something. But you know, they're not really in the on the ground. They're somewhere else enjoying life. But the real people of Southwest Florida, we're kind of like stuck with the situation. We're trying to figure out if you know if we lost our home or. But and a lot of people in Naples got mad at me because you know I'm I'm just alluding to the fact that and it's a very true fact that when you have money, these situations just don't affect you the same. Look, we didn't have power for six, what five days or whatever, six days. We were in a hotel in Fort Lauderdale. You know, does that make me better than other people that were stuck here and couldn't leave? No, but I was I had enough money to do it. And a lot of these people that are down here, these are like winter homes and stuff. They're somewhere else. They're not suffering through it. But there's somebody right now who's looking at their apartment who had four feet of water in it, wondering, now I'm homeless. You know? And I feel like even like the poor people that are going through that, or the normal people, they ain't poorly normal people, actually, it's probably the right term. Oh, this is bad. That are going through that. Normal people that are going through that right now. Wow. This is bad. These mobile homes are. This is utter destruction here. Everything on the left. Like, even people are losing everything. They're not going to, like, openly say, I'm going through this. Because poor people have pride, too. You know, like, because you don't have anything doesn't mean you don't have pride. You still have pride. <clears throat> but I think being on YouTube's helped me. Like, if I was homeless, I would say I was homeless. And if I was in a hotel in Fort Lauderdale like I was, I'd say that too, you know? But I feel like with YouTube, I've learned that if you're going to be successful as a YouTuber, that you have to let go of your pride like a long time ago. You know, if you're homeless, hey guys, I'm homeless. And if you're, you know, in a hotel by the beach, hey, I'm in a hotel by the beach. Um, that just comes with YouTube, I think. But I think more, most normal people haven't learned to tear down those barriers of how you're perceived by other people. Guys, there's a bad amount of destruction here in Sun Coast Estates. This is bad. And these are people that what they have is all they have. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I also feel like sometimes like people that have money don't realize that people that are poor. And people that have money don't have to worry about stuff. Like... Oh, Hurricane, okay, we just go spend a few weeks in the Carolinas. Sure, you're not going to post it on Facebook and say, I'm in the Carolinas. Because even, you know, people you know, that have money have the decency to realize that that's a jerk move to make. You know what I mean? You realize that's a jerk move either way. Um, this is bad. This is really, really bad. And of course, is the news going to come and show the destruction in Sun Coast Estates? Absolutely not. 
it's gotta be like the underground YouTubers are gonna say this is what's going on here. I found a lot of people asking about these mobile homes. I've probably got 20 people message me about these mobile homes. You know, and how they're doing. I haven't really been able to get on the ground yet and do it. Um, but when you think about people living in this community, for example, you know, that's all I got. They were able at some point to pay off a mobile home with a quarter acre, and that's all they got. Now when it's destroyed, you know, if they work at a Waffle House or something, what they make there is not going to be enough money to bounce back from this, man. Stay out. If that one says stay out, they, they can spray paint and stay out on it. That one got flattened to the ground. There's nothing left of that mobile home. See, that's catastrophic right there. That's the first time I've seen this in this hurricane is a mobile home straight to the ground like that. So, guys, the destruction here in Sun Coast Estates is bad. Let me grab the other phone. I want to do some close-ups. No power. There's still generators running. You um, have a lot of Australian pines here, which they don't really do very well with. Can I see the air pump again? It's right here. I'm going to do some side shots as well um, while we're doing this so they can kind of get a better. Sun Coast Estates. This is heartbreaking. And, and just to know that this is all people have out here, you know? This isn't like second homes. You know, if a lot of the stuff we've covered along the coast, there are second homes. People are up north. There's insured. But, dude, people out here, you can't insure a mobile home. I don't know if you guys know that. A mobile home from the 60s and 70s, you can't insure it. If you call an insurance company, you're like, I want to insure my mobile home from 1967, they're gonna be like, not a chance in the world. You can't insure these properties. That's why these hot properties are not financeable because the banks won't cover it. The banks won't cover, um, they just won't insure mobile homes. So like if you're buying these properties, you have to buy them cash. You can't buy these properties um, financed. Bad smell, you figure, Destruction in here, guys, is on a different level. So yeah, the North Fort Myers area took a big hit. I literally saw one mobile home literally scraped to the ground. Let me see if I can um, drive up closer. It's really the thing. Here's a mobile home, literally to the ground. I'm not sure why the screen got so dark. Dude. I'm almost afraid of these people seeing me with this camera here. I don't know what they're going through, what they're feeling. I, I would just be distraught completely. I was just cleaning up what's left. I mean, I don't even know, gotta... I don't even know what, how they would feel. Like, I don't even know, like, I, I don't even want to imagine. I don't want to add to their pain, you know what I mean? But this is catastrophic and painful to watch. Yeah. And the mobile home is literally gone to the floor. People are wanting to know what happened here. 
Yeah, I have had so then, many people. Yeah. I'm not talking one or two. I mean, like, I have had... People have family in this area. A and lot. And there, there's no power. There's no internet signal in some areas. Yeah, there's no phone signal in some areas. Dude, this is complete destruction yeah. in some of these places. Like, I've, I've had so many people. I'm not, I'm not talking 10, 20. I'm talking, like, probably more, like, 50 people. Are saying, hey. You need to get in the sun What's get going Get in on there. Now? We have family there. You know, we can't yeah. get in touch with them type thing. Yeah. Yeah, we get a lot of comments like that. Sorry, and let me get a side view so you guys can kind of see better what's going on here. Um, dude, like, I'm, I've made probably five, six videos in this neighborhood easily. Yeah. Like, this is an area we're very familiar with working in. This phone really sucks at focusing. Is this your phone? Yours. Or really my phone? It's really, like, I'm literally looking at the inside of people's houses here on the, on the left yeah. side of the road. Unbelievable. And guys, I'm working with both cameras, so um, I know I got one camera facing forward for you guys. Most of the worst of the worst is going to be kind of side view. Um, but you'll see the other video if you want to get the close-ups that I'm recording with the other camera. Uh, look, but... You know, it's like, this is a brand new mobile home. There's, like, nothing wrong with it. But the older ones are destroyed. I had somebody mad, like, how I haven't been able to really give him, like, a real... With the drive-around video. It's really more of a... Kind of a forward-facing shot. Some people don't like that, but... Yeah, I mean, these mobile homes that are from, like, the 60s and 70s, uh, exposed and out in the open like that, they're going to have catastrophic damages to them. And there's a lot of us non-native plants here. Like, that's another, another layer to the destruction in this community is the amount of non-native plants that they have here. There's a lot of Australian pine, and there's a lot of, um, I think the combination of Australian pines and, um, Australian pines, and, and just, there's so many non-native plants that are not really, um, they're not really meant to handle this type of, of winds. Because the native Florida plants, they're, they're, they're ready to go. But the non-native plants are not really, like Australian pines, and um, there's a lot of like Australian pines, there's a lot of Maliuka here. These are plants that are not exactly geared for uh, these types of winds and stuff. Let me get out of the way here for this person. Guys, my first property that I owned in Florida was a single wide mobile home from 1967. So I, I understand what I'm looking at here. I really do. More than you could imagine. But this is the type of devastation and destruction you're not going to find on the news. Forgot the, uh, the the already forgotten hasn't even that thing is squatted though. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what though. That thing is squatted. Look at that pine tree just for real. Mm -hmm. uh, there is good news though. That truck is squatted. There's a look at this mobile home over here. Unbelievable. You're literally looking into somebody's house on this side of the road. 
But you guys, if you're watching the, the forward facing video, you're, you'll see, you can just see the sun post video when I get the close up. So I'm not making two videos at once. It's kind of crazy. But you're literally seeing the inside of people's houses. It's it's just, there's, there's um, kind of a heavy. heavy feeling in the air watching all these things like somebody stuff out by the curb like that that's that is difficult to, difficult difficult to be here and see this so many lives affected you know and not only affected but it's almost like unheard of like it, it's like they, these people went through this and and they're not really um they're not really like even getting the publicity for it, like which could help, you know, could help the people understand the catastrophe here. I'm long past the humanitarian part of the, for the, my work, you know. I just do my work and that's it. In my videos. I'm I'm long, long ago past the humanitarian part of what I do. I just upload the videos and people see it, and that's just that's that's my only real role. In, in this situation. Across the streets, pretty much destroyed too. <sighs> okay, guys, this is just my blood pressure feels like I can literally feel my blood pressure like in my veins and my, my shoulders hurt it's hard to see this to tour through this much destruction back to back you kind of it's been difficult I'm not gonna lie like just driving through all these places You got all these Australian pines. You got all these Malioka. These were plants that, since they're not native to Florida, they really take a huge beating with these storms. You can hear the generators going off as well. And it just aggravates. I think the amount of non-native plants in this neighborhood kind of aggravates the problem. But being just an older neighborhood, you know, these neighborhoods from like the 60s and stuff, they, they have a lot of non-native plants, which later on people stop using these types of plants, but now you have all these giant Maliukas, you know, 100 foot Australian pines, plants that are not native to Florida, not meant to be in hurricane uh, type uh, scenarios, just aggravates the, the situation here, because now they gotta come down. And you know, if you get a quote to get rid of one of these Australian pine trees, they might be like, well, it's $5,000 where it's, um, you know, whatever. And you're like, wow, that's a lot of money, but it's, they got to come down regardless. Um, I, I had somebody in Naples get quoted because they'll grow to like 80, 90 feet. Okay. This is like a tornado came through here or something. This doesn't even look like 
Her, I don't. I don't think her. Can her can actually do this? Can you? Or it's just like a tornado here. This looks like a lot of damage. Well, within the hurricane, there are tornadoes. tornadoes. So there might have been a tornado in the midst of the hurricane. There could have been a like a small tornado come through. This looks a little bit. Either that or it's just the freaking eye wall came through here. That could have just it could have just been the eye wall. Nothing more than the eye wall. You know. Eye wall damage. It fairly well could be. I mean it's just the noise of generators in all directions is tormenting. Um, I think you guys a real feel for what's going on here. The sound of generators in all directions is tormenting. Um, okay, look what this one, you didn't, you didn't give it to me in the right mode. Somebody from Baton Rouge, Louisiana calling. The, the sound of generators in all directions, um, kind of tormenting, really. I hear chicken growing. I, mean, I think out of all the areas I've seen destruction, this has really touched me the most because, crap, it's already a poor place. It's already, like, you know what I mean? Like, these are just people that can't bounce back like the rich people. Like, wow, well, man. I, I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I'm talking too much. I just feel a little upset right now. This had to be a tornado or something. Like, how does a tree be that big even? Like, how does something that big even fall? I think something will be open above Kai Ranch. Yeah. Anything works, bro. I gotta eat something solid and strong. I haven't. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I 
fancy pants over there when I eat something. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'm just like, dude, like. <laughs> I eat gourmet. I can't really record what's happening on the left side because there's people inside. Uh, it's kind of rude, but. Dang it, bro. Some disgusted looks from people, but uh, trust me, I don't want to be here doing this either. It's just my job as a YouTuber, this is what I do. I don't want to be here recording your house that's gone either, man. I kind of I can almost sympathize with you, bro. Here too, kids, no power. I think I had like as soon as the storm happened, I had a lot of people tell me sun close to state, sun close to state, sun close to state. It just kept coming through the feed. I was like, I kind of didn't want to see it to be honest. Not because I don't care about the place, but because I do care about the place. Even though, like, you know, like you watch my content, and you might be like. You know, we're always doing videos here and stuff, and you think I don't care about this place because the way we narrate the videos, but I, I really do care about the place. And I know there's some freaking awesome people in here. Um, people don't really equate Southwest Florida with poverty and hard times, but even before a storm, this place can be equated that way. And there's a lot of families and people here that, you know, their recovery process is not just cleaning it up and pay somebody to clean it up. Their recovery process is, I mean, how long will it take for this place to get power back? Even if they get power back, what, 20, what do you say, 10% of these homes are probably destroyed? There's a good percentage of these houses that, you know. There's a percentage, of these, a good percentage of these houses that are not salvageable. Some of these people may have the have the means to put in a new home. Others dead. Yeah. I just hope like they offer them like loans and stuff. Maybe I don't I don't even know. I don't know the process. right here like literally everything's outside we're literally looking at at least the carport's gone generators on or they had clothes and stuff outside
I think it just makes it hard to look at. It's the amount of children that are out here. You don't really, when you're doing your normal drive around videos, you probably don't realize how many children live in this community because they're in school. Or, you know, now that since there's no air conditioning, everybody's outside. But the house, you can see half of it's gone. Here. Like you don't really, when you like come through here normally, you don't realize how many children there are because they're in school or they're inside. But now there's no air conditioning. You see how many people are outside. You're like, dude, there's a lot of families here. I would almost say this this had to be a tornado. Of the 20 years that I lived in Naples, 20 of them were in mobile homes. Oh crap, that Australian pine just leaning. I don't know, what, the, what are those pines, does anybody know the name of those pines? Not the Australian ones, the ones that are just like spawning straight up in the air. What are those things called? straight up in the air. Oh, look at that. They're building a huge house over here. That's very interesting. They're building a huge house on this side of the road right here. Actual concrete block house. Like, interesting. Because they'll let you rezone this out here and put houses. that you would put up a house in a neighborhood like this. Kind of weird. I mean, you can rezone it. You can buy a mobile home, knock it down, and build a house instead of a mobile home. But why would you want to put a house that big in this neighborhood? It's kind of an interesting thing to do. Some people just like their hood. No matter what, like, they get money. And they're like, even though they got money, they still like their neighborhood, so they don't want to move out. That's an interesting thing to see a house that big being built back here. Okay, so where can we go eBay? What's open at this point? All Cat Ranch? Yeah, or some place in Cape Coral. <laughs> Cape Coral didn't really have stuff open enough from what, from what I can gather. From what I could gather, Cape Coral didn't look like it would um, have anything open there. It was just there like two days ago, there was nothing. Why Cape Coral? We were just there, they didn't have power anything, remember? We were just in Cape Coral, what, yesterday, the day before? No, longer ago. How many days ago we were in Cape Coral? But they didn't look like they were going to be recovered by now. They weren't recovered, they haven't recovered it by Thursday now. Thursday or Friday, yeah. They've there's businesses open. In Cape Coral? Yes, yeah, so Not there. a whole lot, baby. Not like enough to where you, I don't think it'd be enough to where like it'd be open like ready to go. I think Bobcat Ranch is really our only chance. Okay, Jose. Why are you like so angry? I'm not angry.
believe they're starting to work on restoring power here yeah, now. Yeah, they need to. I mean, the kids, they're on this neighborhood, bro. Yeah. These people can't just get up and stay in a hotel like you did, you know that, right? Yeah. These people, they, just, they can't do that. Like, they're stuck here, no power, no light, doesn't freaking matter. They're stuck here. This should be before. I remember after Hurricane uh, yeah. Charlie, our first day in high school, no power, no nothing. All the rich kids, you know, they were like wearing like their new first day of school clothes. We were wearing clothes that stink, and you know what I mean? Because it's always a, sometimes it's always the poorest neighborhoods that are left for last, simply because they get beat up so bad. I remember like Charlie, bro, like 90, I, no, not 95. I would say like probably 98% of kids had power back. The only neighborhood in the whole city that didn't have power back was our neighborhood. We were left for absolute last. Go for Charlie. I'm talking like the first week of school, of high school, first week of high school, no power. Going, waking up at four. High school, you gotta wake, you gotta wake up at five in the morning, wake up with a freaking flashlight, take a shower, take a cold shower in the morning before you go to school. That was a nightmare, bro. That's what all these kids are gonna go through now. Because they're going to probably got to go back to school. Mm-hmm. Just because the other areas, like, I don't know if they go to school Cape Coral, but the kids in those areas, they're going to go back to school. These kids are going to go back to school without power or nothing, bro. You think if you sleep in a mobile home with, with no electricity, you're going to be ready to go to school the next day in the morning? Come on, bro. Like, I've been there. I, I, I know what that feels like. That's why I tell people, bro, you can't just be content with poverty. Like, me and Katie could have bought a trailer here cash. In this neighborhood, we could have bought a trailer cash. I think the house is like that before, so I don't know name. Like, we could have literally bought a house here cash before the storm, and that's what Katie know. We're not going to buy a trailer in, in, in here cash. You know why? Because... What happens the day a hurricane comes through and a tree falls on? Then you got nowhere to go. You got to keep working until you can buy better things and have better neighborhoods and have better crap. Because when you have poverty, when this is when you really get to go through it for real. You know, thankfully we're in a neighborhood where now we got power back. Last night, we we're finally able to stay home. That's why I tell people, like, don't just be con- not out of greed. It's not out of greed that I tell people that because it's not about greed. It's about your family deserves better. You got to try it not because you're greedy, but because your family really deserves better. Your family absolutely deserves better than to be stuck in one of these scenarios. Because I'm sure there's a gated community a mile from here that ain't got a quarter of these damages. I'm sure a mile from here, there's a gated community where people aren't going through it the same way you're going through it here. Yeah, they might be without power, but they're not going to have a freaking tree slice their house in half. That's why me, I like work relentlessly, relentlessly always working because I'm like, I've already been in these situations growing up and I'm just sick and tired of being in these freaking situations. First day of school, these kids go back to school. They're going back to school smelling bad, bro. And the little rich kids that go to school over there on the other side of that concrete wall that live in the gated community, they're like, oh gosh, you smell bad. Why do your parents let you come to school smelling bad? And they're already like, you know, seven, 10 years old. And already they're already formulating this, this 
uh, abuse in their head, they're already like, formulating this sen uh, uh, sentiment of resentment and not being good enough from the time they're little because they go back to school now with a bunch of rich kids. They're probably in the same school district that they they were they were they were in Disney or something while this happened. You know what I mean? So they were you were you were stuck in a small home with no power, no light. Oh, they got some some stuff to burn. I can smell that. Not everybody's taking this. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm just putting a lot of anger out right now. But at the end of the day, it's like it's. I'm not saying it's like an injustice. I'm just saying it's like. It's a situation you create by not trying hard enough. But I, I just, I, I know it's kind of a bit much, but I do remember going back to school after a hurricane when we were the one neighborhood that didn't get their power back yet because it was the poorest neighborhood in the city they don't give a crap about, you know what I mean? Going to school with kids that they got their power back. They were up in Disney during a hurricane or something, you know? But you were down here going through it. So you think those kids are going to start the school off? They're going to be paying attention. They're going to be taking notes. And perhaps not even the teachers will notice that you're not going through the same situation they're all going through. You're going through something different. They already forgot about the situation they're going through, you know? Because, like, my neighborhood where I live now, bro, we, were, we got spared. Like, we didn't have this going through my neighborhood where I live now. We got power back. We cleaned up the two trees that fell. And we're back to normal. But these people here, they're still going through it, man. They might have been going through it before the hurricane. And again, I'm sorry if I'm saying too much. I'm just a little frustrated. Like, you almost feel guilty that now I live, I have power. I'm back to normal, but bro, like my life continues like normal. But these people here, they're not. Like, this is going to take a while. Is it then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice coconut trees and palm trees. Coconuts? They're all coconuts. Okay. That color did the line with the, all the coconut trees in the front. Probably saved part of their house right there. The coconut trees took the blunt of the force of the wind on that one. Okay, GPS, Bobcat Ranch. You want to call and make sure the restaurants are open there before we go? That would probably be a good idea. Okay, call first and make sure the restaurants are open. They may not even be open. Who knows? That guy's smart. You saw how he made a little sleigh out of the... making jokes about leaving Katie here with her own kind. Not today. Can I phone? Hang up. Hang up. Nothing? Nada.
which one did you call the one we ate at last time? Yes. Hmm. Um, what other options? What do you think? I, I, I really don't think they approached have anything open. I really don't. Place, even in Fort Myers, okay, listen, Fort Myers is more centralized and already had power. And even Fort Myers, the restaurants weren't open. Isn't this the largest shutter park in the world? I'm gonna tell me that. station here. I should have at least checked on the gas stations and stuff, the corner stores here. Hi, what time are you open till today? Eight. Eight, and do you have a full menu? Okay, thank you. What was that? Habaneros. They are open and they have a full menu. Oh, the Mexican place? Yeah. That's right here. Did you pass it? Yeah. Did you pass it? We'll go there. Tough, tough, tough. Um, I still haven't made it. 